Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The CR NS363 plus is paramagnetic, NICN42 minus is diamagnetic. Explain. Let's understand the CR here, the oxidation state will be plus 3, here it will be plus 2. Okay, let's see. Bromium 3 plus is argon 3D. Because chromium is 3D5, 4S1. So chromium 3 plus is 3D. Let's talk about Na. Ni2 plus is nickel. 2 plus will be nickel is 3D8, 4S2. So nickel 2 plus will be 3D8. Let's draw the first structure first. So, and since it is 6, this is also, this is 4. This is 6. So we can use octahedral splitting. This is T2G, this is EG. Now, NS3 is what? Weak ligand, weak field ligand actually. And there are three electrons, three electrons will remain. Thus, the hybridization will be D2 sp3 because these two orbitals, these two d orbitals, and the next s and the next p orbital will be used, and D2 sp3 will be hybridization because six electron pairs have to be filled. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 3, 6. D2 sp3 hybridization and this is paramagnetic. Okay. Let's talk about NiCN4. So NiCN4 again, this is 4. So it is tetrahedral. So this is the splitting. This is G. This is now CN is a strong field ligand. It will force pairing. First electron will come here, second is here, third here, fourth here, fifth. 6, 7, 8. So here if you see the hybridization is one of these d orbital, next x and then 2. By dsptt because we need only 4 orbitals to fit 4 electron pairs. dsp2 hybridization and here it is because of pairing. Why pairing? Because NIC, CN minus is a strong field ligand. The next is the solution of NiH2O62 plus is green, but solution of NiCN42 minus is colorless. We need to explain that. Let's see this. Ni2 plus, here we have addition state of plus 2, here we have plus 2. I think we do the same compound in the last example. Let's draw this. Ni2 plus is 3D8 because Ni is nickel is 3D8 for S2. 6 is octahedral. We can draw like this. Water is a weak ligand, so there will not be pairing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's draw NiCN4. Minus here also 8, but this is 4. So we will draw something like this. Here this is T2G, this is EG, this is T2G, and this is EG. We have seen that now the tetrahedral, it is splitting is the other way down. So they are, uh, now again, 8. 8 electrons has to be filled. 1. 2 and the CN is a very strong ligand in force pairing 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? All the force it will force pairing. So what if you see is all paired. Okay? And this Orbital actually will be used by CN perform to form on. So all, everything is paired, there is no scope of D transition. All filled orbital. Okay? No, no D transition, so it will be colorless. Here, this orbital is not used for forming bond with H2O. Here it can actually for D transition. Okay, in that case, it will have color. Fe Cn64 minus and Fe H2O6 plus of different color and dilute solution. Why? So let's see. This is 2 plus. Charge is 2 plus. Fe2 plus is what? 3D6 because iron is 3D6 4S2. 3D6 4S2. Okay. 
both are six, both are octahedral, so I can actually draw something like this. Okay, this is for C and this is for H2. So this is C and minus strong field ligands. So it will cause pairing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pair H2O, no pairing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you see there are two different ways of arrangement. Okay. In both cases it will be colored. Why? In fact in this case the scope of color is also less. Because this will be used by some other orbitals so it will be all filled. So it may be colorless. I'm not very sure on this, but it, it may be colorless as per the logic. And this will have color because it will have empty d orbital and here it will facilitate dd transition. Also, if you view from the other angle, view from the other angle. So C n minus is a strong field ligand, so it will cause more splitting. C n minus. H2O is a weak field ligand, it will cause smaller splitting. Right? Even if let's suppose, actually, because these are all theories, right? So theories are different and practical is different. Even if it has color, I don't know if it has color or not. In that case, also, in this case, there is more difference in delta naught. Here, the difference in delta naught is difference. So both of them will approach different wavelength of light because wavelength is E is equal to H C by lambda. If this E is different in both cases, the lambda will be different in both cases, they will have different. In fact, the color of this compound is lemon yellow. If you talk about this compound, K4 potassium ferrocyanide, this is yellow in color. Yellow is almost colorless, right? Almost colorless. But if you talk about this compound, potassium ferrocyanide, this is bright red. And I can tell you why. So in this case, iron is Fe3 plus. Correct? So if it is Fe3 plus, Fe3 plus, electronic configuration will be 3d5. So if there is one less electron here, 3d5, this is one unpaired electron and it can jump around here and there and give color. So that is also one logic, right? So it, in fact, this is uh, almost uh, colorless. This is, this is uh, light lemon yellow. Almost colorless. Almost colorless. Okay. So here we have to give the oxidation state, d orbital occupation, coordination number of the central metal. Let's try to find this. So this is minus 2, this is minus 6, this is x let's suppose, and this is plus 3. Solve this, plus 3 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0, x is equal to plus 3. So this is plus 3, one part is done. Coordination number will be? 3 dinamic electron, so coordination number will be 6. So coordination number 6 by default is octahedral in shape. That is something we know. But let's find how it is called. Coordination number 6 will be something like this. Splitting based on the crystal field theory. This will be T2G and this will be EG. This is cobalt 3 plus. Cobalt 3 plus. Electronic configuration is 3D6. And C2O4 is again a strong field again. So it will cause a pairing 1, 2, 3, 4 will come here, 5 will come here, 6 will come here. So the d orbital configuration will be T to G will have 6 and E G will have 0. Okay, so I found the coordination number, I found the electronic configuration of d orbital and I found the oxidation number. Okay. Let's take this next, next example. So here let's assume this is X, fluorine is minus 4, 4 of minus 1. And NH4 2 is plus 1, plus 1 into 2 is plus 2. Okay, let's solve this. Plus 2 plus x minus 4 is 0. Solve the value of x. x is plus 2. So chromium is plus 2. So sorry, cobalt. Cobalt is plus 2. So cobalt plus 2 electronic configuration is 3D7. And this is COF4. COF4 is what? Tetrahedral. Splitting is something else like this. It will be T2G here, EG will be here. You can see this video where we explain that tetrahedral splitting is other way around. Fluorine is a weak ligand, it won't force pairing. So we have seven electrons to pull, 
फर्स्ट विल कम हेयर सेकेंड विल कम हेयर थर्ड विल कम हेयर फोर्थ विल कम हेयर फिफ्थ विल कम हेयर सिक्स विल कम हेयर सेवन विल कम हेयर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फ्यूजन विल बी ई जी फोर ई टू जी थ्री दिस विल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फ्यूजन टॉक अबाउट द कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर कोबाल्ट इज बॉन्डेड विद फोर लिगेंट्स सो कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर इज फोर ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर इज Just take some more. Same thing here. We have to give for uh, this compound. So chlorine is. Let's find the oxidation number. Chlorine is minus one. This is again minus two, and this En is almost zero. And this is the suffix X. X minus two minus one is zero, or X is plus three. So chromium oxidation state is plus three. So chromium three plus oxidation state. Chromium three plus will be three D. Because chromium is three D five four S one, so it will be three D three. Yes. Now chlorine is a weak field ligand. Also, is the oxidation first. Let's find the coordination number. So two didentate two into two four plus two chlorine didentate equal to six. Six is what octahedral. Octahedral splitting is something like this. T two G and three becomes here. Chlorine is a weak field ligand. It won't force pairing. It will fill three electrons. One, two, three electrons. Well, so this will be the electronic configuration: T two G three and E G G. Okay. The next one is M N H two O six S O four. Again, if you see coordination number is six because there are six water molecules, so it's tetrahedral, octahedral, E G N. This is E G. Now. Oxidation number of Mn will be plus two because this is zero and this is minus two. So Mn two plus is three D five because Mn is three D five four S two. Mn two plus will be three D five four S zero. Five electrons I have to put. Water is a weak ligand; it won't force pouring. So it will be one, two, three, four, 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 four. So it will go here. So it will be T two G three E G two. That is the D orbital ring configuration coordination number six oxidation state is plus two. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests. Get free study materials. Find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.